Previously on Factorio Troopers. Warm it all up! Everything you got! Come on, you hate! You wanna live forever? Alright, hi guys, welcome back. Uh, so I am deciding to build I'm gonna start mining out this copper actually. And we're gonna go say hello to our biter friends. Hey guys. Alright. Luckily we got a good amount of firearm magazines now. So let's go start just making crap tons of this stuff. We do have more and more. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, we gotta go up there and save that. Hey. I'm from Buenos Aires, they say fuck yourself. Alright. So these run out of ammo. Okay, we kind of have a problem here of turrets, but it's okay. Yeah, it's just telling us things were destroyed. Do I have any... No, I don't have any coal on me. Let's go put the turrets up first. So let's go get our first stack of uh, walls. Uh, two stacks, actually. Excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to just put one right here and we're going to fill it up with... Usually I go for like 14 or something ammo right now. So I'm going to space it up by two times, put the rest of the stack in, we go, we take this wall. I, I, I usually try and space it up so there's like one... kind of one space around this because the way this works is... So they will automatically go acquire turrets, uh, the biters. And the bigger biters actually can go through one tile of wall, so that's kind of how we do it. And now this will actually work until it eventually runs out of ammo, which, um, like I said, we kind of have a lot of ammo now coming in, so uh, it's not a big deal to us anymore. Oh, man. Okay, that is a, that is a nest, actually. So they expanded there, uh, which was not unforeseeable. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's new. That wasn't there before. So occasionally they will make nests. Uh, that's why we have the radar. Uh, it's to see things like that. We're gonna make a shotgun and like two more turrets. Maybe like four more turrets. So how we deal with nests. So we get our first bit of combat. Well, actually we've got to combat this whole time. You know what, we need to put our war colors on. All right, now we're green. If you're wondering why I put like 0101, well, that's for another time, unless you actually want me to explain it. Okay, fine, RGB, and then, I think the last one's like uh, alpha or something, so. Full intensity, full green, and zero and zero for no red or blue. Because we're, we're, the, we're the Yoshi King, so we need to be bright fucking neon green or whatever the fuck. Alright, I'm not gonna bother walling this up, but we will we will do something about this, I think. Alright, so we're gonna move it slightly more up. Right here. And we're gonna wall this off too, because we left a bit of space for it to do its thing. Alright, so there you go. That's walled off now too. Let's take some of this iron here and actually you know while we're at it we could get more coal except I fucking hate the fact that this is now bringing in like random bits of not coal shit alright now the play with that is actually to get um, filter inserters potentially but you know uh, I'm trying to debate how to do this second. Can we like do something here? Maybe I can do something here. Whoops. Okay, this is gonna be awful and anybody who judges me for this is gonna get bad now. I don't know. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. There you go. Fuck. I, I know I have belts being constructed down there. I'm really lazy and don't want to go down there. Especially for just this. So, it's a little bit weird, I know, but there's a reason for this. Uh, the reason is I'm really lazy, so... 
All right, we can make like two more, and then that's pretty much all we can get out of this out of this place. By the way, like we can't actually get that much more out of this, which is very sad. Um, I mean, if we kind of laid it out perfectly, maybe, but yeah. All right, we have two turrets. That's good enough. Actually, we have a lot more than two turrets. Did I make a shotgun? I did make a shotgun. Where's my shotgun shells? They did not go in. All right, we take all the fire ma magazines we can. As you can see, it's just kind of eating through the stuff as we make it, so... And as you can see, oh, they, the walls were already hit, but the walls are extremely good at this. Alright, so they have some small worms, so that's not good. We'll go over here and... Alright, so... Um, this is difficult. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go put these two here. All right, they're gonna attack that. Maybe we should just repair that. No, let's go let it die. You die. All right, here's what we're gonna do. All right, good. One thing died, but that's okay. We're just gonna kind of hit this guy until he dies, because it unfortunately was a small worm. Now, why did something apparently die over there? Oh, apparently they just broke through. Oh, because they ran out of ammo. Oh. Did I really not feed them enough? I guess not. Alright, this is kind of hard. All right. I may not have exactly trained for this moment, but that's okay. All right, did anything die over here that is preventing machines from working? No. I think that's okay. This is why it's actually really not a great idea for us to leave the base that often, and why it's also a wonderful idea for, yeah. Oh, my radar dish got destroyed. Oh, that's okay, we can just make another one. We're just gonna repair this real quick. But luckily, we did get rid of the, the little base that was over there, so that's good. Yeah, they kind of they kind of do eat through ammunition, don't they? It's kind of a sad story. Fuck. Apparently, need more copper, and you need more coal. Actually, everything here needs more coal. How much time has passed since I was doing that? Fuck, man. Apparently, apparently a lot of time has passed. Yeah, no, this is doing good. It's going good. Just doing good. Yeah, we'll make the wall here too. It's fine. But as you can see, the walls are great, but they, they're not great at dealing with things that just kind of run out of ammunition. So, uh, what else do we want? I don't know what else I wanted, but we're going to just remake this uh, right there over here. It can resume its job of uh, telling me. Oh, I remember now. I wanted to make some repair packs. Like two would be sufficient. I will make the rest into these things. But I like repairing things because when they have health bars, it means that they're damaged and can't abide by that. All right, this, sh this should be good for now. These have like 30 rounds each. For some reason, that direction is just like uh, hell, I guess. I'm not sure why. But yeah, all right, so now we need to do a couple things. Um, so I'm thinking we scale up our... Uh, I'm not sure if we need copper yet. Well, we do need it soon, but when I say yet, I mainly particularly mean right this second, which I may not. Because I think it actually would be more more prudent for me to actually uh, fill up this line of uh, more iron, because... Like this. 
Yes, I, I know it's literally awful, like, how this looks, but... I, I, I actually don't know how to really, like... I didn't expect to basically have this layout where it's, like, fucking... I don't know what the hell this is. Alright, I, I, I now am going to keep my promise to actually go down here and get the fucking belts that I've been actually working on this whole time. That's 666 transfer belts. It kind of just... Oh, shit. Oh, uh, hi, guys. Welcome to the fucking factory. It looks like they're confused. Okay, they're fucking completely on that, too. Shit. Well, come, come into these turrets, if you will. Okay, let's, uh... Let's make some more gun turrets. You assholes. Welcome to Death World. Alright, so... I may have slightly made inadequate defenses over here. I get used to hearing that sound a lot, by the way. Uh, cannot support any more iron gears. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually stop making this crap. In fact, I'm gonna go as far as to actually destroy this. We don't need any more belts. 66 belt, six, six, six belts is actually the, the preferred number of belts. Um, yeah, problem is when I start running out of ammo, uh, that's actually when the when the turrets die at the moment. I mean, the walls help and them surviving, but doesn't really help me a whole lot. Here's what we're also gonna do. I'm also gonna do this. I don't know what quite I don't know quite the angle that they're coming from, but. Uh, probably that angle. See, they actually do handle their own very well, uh, but it's just a matter of them doing that. I'm pretty sure my research has stopped for some various reasons, but yeah. So they're they're definitely exploring me out. Uh, they're scouting me. Uh, yeah, that's probably the probably the iron as well. Yeah, the iron is out as well. Don't worry, we have now an abundance of uh, things for making this stuff, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just do something like this. This is like literally the worst like iron layout I've ever done, but that's okay. Do something like this. Like it, it just kind of worked out this way. It's okay. Nobody expects perfection in this game. Except for assholes, but we don't we don't talk to assholes. Alright. That's that's okay. Alright, let's go get some more copper. Pretty sure these just ran out for some reason. Alright, it just bothered me on a fundamental level how that was gonna look. Alright, let's go get some more coal actually while we're down there, and we're also going to fill up the ammunition on the other side. For some reason it's worked out like this, but we can make a balancer for this. Uh, I mean, we can make one in theory, but yeah. So, balancers are something interesting. Now, the concept has changed several times because uh, the devs don't, like, they, they keep changing their mind. We'll have to do something about this later. Do I, have, do I have more ammo? I don't have more ammo. Let's go bring some more ammo up, actually. So as you can see right now, it's actually getting full, uh, that stuff. So that's actually really nice. Uh, oh, hey, this thing finished uh, getting the coal out, so that's nice. That's good. Yeah, th so these things are starting to run out of ammo, uh, which we can't abide by. Uh, it's actually, that's actually against the factory rules. Uh, you're not allowed to run out of ammo. So, uh, if you ever play this game, just know what the rules are. I'm trying to get some iron plates here. And I don't know what, oh yeah, because I want to make another turret on my way up there. We're gonna just come up there. Uh, how's our walls doing? We have 29 walls. 
But this box now has 90 something walls. So we're gonna just fill these up again. It looks like these things are gonna continue to make stuff at its slow pace, but that's fine. That's why we kind of left it here in a way that like it's very low maintenance. We don't have to worry about it. Uh, we just give it some more rounds and then peace out. So it looks like they may have just slipped through here. Um, which doesn't bode well for me. You can see now that all the sides are taking a beating. That's okay. Whatever. We'll just take another stack of the walls. That should be good. So that, that will cover that. That will cover our bases there. So eventually we're going to have to make some better ammunition and things like that, but as long as this is kind of being made, it's fine. So this is a good amount now. We're actually good with that. So now we get to work on our copper layouts. But that will be very special indeed. Actually, no, it's not going to be special in the slightest. It's just pretty much going to be exactly what you see me do already. But, but I make it sound boring when I do that, when I say that, so... It's going to be something new and innovative that's going to blow your mind. It's going to be another furnace layout. Let's just do this. We're going to get rid of this soon. Um, we're just on the realm of trying to get more iron now. Now the thing is, it would actually not be a bad idea for us to make another iron row uh, for furnaces, because look how much we use it. But honestly, it's just because this, this ammunition is just eating it right now, so we're just kind of going to hump, hump this like thing and we're going to take as much as we can from it. The thing is, we actually don't need that much copper, believe it or not. We, just, we, do, we actually really don't. Um, so, how much more copper do we have? Yeah, good enough. I also said I was going to balance the coal, wasn't I? Maybe we'll do that real quick while the rest is, is constructing. Alright, we have 32 furnaces. It's good enough for us for now. Alright, so this is how a balancer works. So, we, you know how it's like biased to just like the one line? You kind of just do something weird. Like this. Still works in this game, as far as I know. So this way, it's always filling both sides. So... I don't know if you can wrap your head around the logistics, but it's just the weird, weird way that the belts work in this game. So this way, all the, the all the um, the miners are always going, which is what we want. Kind of want the miners to always go. All right, let's do some iron. Or sorry, this is not iron. This is not iron in the slightest. This is copper. All right, so this will go down this way somewhere. I don't, I haven't quite worked out how this is going to work at all, actually. Like, I'm thinking the best, the best solution is actually just to bring it over here somewhere. Uh, we need more iron plates again. How much more ammo? Well, that's a lot of ammo. I have now, I have now like a full clip of it. But like, I'm not going to ever say no to more ammo though. But we will just check once in a while. So we're going to get to a point where we're going to say like, hey, we want like 50 in each of these. Um, as I said, it's not important that we don't see what's over here. It's more important that we see kind of like what's immediately around us. Particularly bases that expand nearby. Because those are a pain in the ass. Apparently, yeah. So here's what we're going to do. This is where copper is going to come into them. There's like another copper, like, sorry, I was pointing at the mini-map. There's one over here, but I don't know where the rest of them are. Well, there's one over here. So, I mean, if we really needed to, we can also get those. Uh, but we probably won't ever get to that point. Because believe it or not, this is actually, like, it, this is a small amount of copper, but it's actually just the right amount that we need. Usually by the time that I start thinking about, um, like, greatly expanding that, we're going to make six, by the way, there. By the time I start thinking about greatly expanding my copper, um, that's usually the time that uh, we don't need that much. Alright, uh, let's see here. Okay, I know how to do this. So we're gonna bring some of the coal over. Need to make more inserters.
we're still manually handcrafting all this stuff, I know. At 93 more firearm magazines. This is actually quite nice, the amount of coal that we get from this. Alright, we're gonna split off some of the coal this way. So as long as Oops. Wow, it's just really going ham with those things right here. By the way, like there's gonna be like some sick layouts with like trains and shit later on. Like it's just like right now it's all about bootstrapping us into a point of which like I can't even do bullet damage because I keep not having iron for it like those are like it's one of those helpful techs that really is nice for us early on you know what I think I just changed my mind honestly I, I know it's weird but I'm gonna actually head towards automation too like we were like halfway through it and then I just decided no no oh. Uh, that's, uh, that's a lot of guys. What's evolution at? Uh, point 0.1, so it's not the best, but you know, it's life. Sometimes you have to do that. Alright, let's do this. Um, Alright, so I'm going to... I have to underground belt something. Probably over here. Alright. Because we want to kind of make it so it does things like this. There you go. And same layout as before. Not a very creative person. And once again, 10 magic number. Um, as I said, it's more of a plays into later in the game, and not it's just not now, because I, I just don't need it right now that badly. So I like to make furnace layouts one time, kind of a thing. All right. Oh, we apparently ran completely out of these guys. That's okay. We could just make more. Yeah, we need to just make all of this now. So, like you can see, that if we didn't have the walls, that now we'd have another problem. Which is why you kind of need like a little bit of walls, because these walls are very strong. It prevents them from just kind of all willy-nilly just like completely screwing us, but yeah. We probably just now give this like a little bit more ammunition in both. And this is probably the time I start thinking about making a third line of turrets for this stuff, but you know. This guy doing still. Still making the rest of them. Alright. Guess uh I guess we should just place the rest of these uh guys right here. We need to do we need to do one in the middle as well. So everything gets power. The little I mean if it was an obvious little blue is what does the power. As I said, I'm not explaining things very well in this run because this is just a this is just my own stupid challenge run that I want to do for YouTube. It's good times. Uh, we're still waiting for our fantastic shit to finish. Now this this line is like almost completely full, but I mean that's fine. You can just leave it that like that. So like I said, we're still eating off of the same iron line. Uh, sorry, the same coal line, and eventually it'll get to the point where we can just say like, "Oh hey, we need more coal, so let's get it from somewhere." These are still good. How's our power doing? So our power is starting to reach that point at which we need to make more, uh, more steam engines. So we can probably just make another set of them. 
it's actually very simple to keep adding on to it because the way I made it, it's just like it's modular, so I, d I get to just keep adding on to it. So we just say like two boilers and a bunch of steam engines, but unfortunately, we still have this case here where we're just like still just eating off of one line of iron. So, I mean, it's all going into ammunition still, which is why we'll need another set of iron furnaces, and then that should be it until we tech up. Will be all we need. Okay, well, apparently we're not making another set. Apparently we're just making two. <laughs> not four, we're making two. Alright, what's going on here? Okay, 18, 16, alright. Thinking about coming over there. Actually, let's finish, finish, finish up. Fuck. What died? Okay, they got, they got through that one. That's why we have to pay attention to when things die, because it's a case of they run out of ammo very quickly. And I was actually kind of, you've been watching, I've been, I've been looking at the map, and I've been kind of trying to pay attention to when they run out of ammo. But luckily we, we got to that one just in time. So I'm just trying to give them like 60 rounds each, and that should be enough for me not to have to worry about it. But you never truly know with this game. All right, so this is, by the way, this is overkill for uh, for copper. Like, I'm not gonna actually make more than those six that you saw me making. Uh, I need to continue the, uh, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna stop this uh, production of uh, whatever the fuck this is. Put it right into here. All right, now let's make some more power. So power is very easy to plug and play. Whoops, like just like that. Actually, we have we make another steam engine. At, by the way, at this point, the cat's out of the bag. Like there's, there's actually this is why we're like I was memeing about solar power before, but there's actually a very good reason we're not doing solar power because uh, there's uh, it's just a waste of time in this uh, particular mode. It's not. By the way, if you if you play this mode, you're like, why the fuck isn't he using solar power? Um, it just doesn't make enough power, um, and it's something you have to invest a great amount of resources into, and it, in this particular game archetype, they don't care. Like, because no matter what you do, your pollution is going to spread. Um, like, you can see I, I barely have a base, um, and they're they're basically coming at me nonstop, and this, is ex this was actually entirely expected that they would do this. Because that's what they do. Uh, when they start having the range spitters, then, then we're in trouble, but, you know. Still have a bit of time until I curse. Okay, so this is good now. Um, so this is the time we probably start thinking to ourselves, how do we do more stuff? Okay, 161. I don't, I don't want to destroy this ammunition creation stuff necessarily, because I think it's actually good where it is. But yeah. So now we're going to basically... I think we're going to actually make real science. Uh, but we're starting to reach the end of an episode, so... I think what we'll do instead... Is I'm going to make another row of furnaces. Um, and as I said, like you can go like, oh Mike, you can extend it to the left. I know, I know there's going to be someone that says that, and trust me, there's an excellent reason for the reason I'm not doing that. And um, you'll see all in due time. Uh, so... But we're going to have to go out and get some stone first, so... We have to go get stones. Like, I, I know very well that the, the simplest solution may be to do that, but it's actually... It's a more of a design thing, that the reason why I don't do that. We're just going to go out and get some stone. And pretty much after we get another 20, I don't think I ever need any more furnaces after that, believe it or not. We just simply don't need it. And it probably could be a good idea to get a submachine gun, actually. Because we're actually at the point where... Uh, stuff is just not necessary. Don't worry, I'll make an abundance of this stuff. The nice thing is we don't have to ever make landfills or ever have to worry about traversing over water in this. Because for some reason, even though I put it on very low frequency of water, it just never spawns up. 
I'm, I'm not actually not sure what the deal with that is. It seems to be a new version 16 thing, but uh, just algorithmically it just doesn't make any more of it, so I'm like, oh, okay. Little deal. Alright, this should be enough uh, furnaces. Yeah, this is definitely enough. I'll just make it a little bit more above the amount that I actually need. And we're gonna come up here and we're just gonna fill these two machines full of stuff and also check the ammo. Because I'm, I'm just, I'm walking around with like 190 rounds right now, so. Uh, just want like 80 in these or something. Or maybe, fuck it. I'll give it a little bit more. And I'll, also, you know what? On top of that, we're also gonna give it another machine gun. Like, I, I kind of want just 50, but I don't know. Ah, that's good enough. Alright, so this this now has a good amount of turrets. We now have uh, some machine guns, so we can just kind of dump this over here somewhere. It would be good getting these fish. We can go fishing. Sweet, we got a fish. Oh shit, no we didn't. You know what this actually is for? It's for healing you. And since I'm playing in a mode where there's not a lot of water, guess what? This is the only fish that we'll get for healing, I guess. I don't know if it actually replenishes, though. But uh, you know what? It, it works out because it's like over here and we can heal ourselves, so it's all good. Uh, Alright, uh, what was I going to do? So our power is pretty good now. Um, I guess we can use some more iron gears, though. Let's make a... Because this is actually one of the biggest problems I have right now. Right. This is what we actually do. We just put a bunch of iron plates in here. And it'll feed itself. And give it as much copper as we possibly can give it. And that's it. There's nothing else for us to do with that. Um, now for iron. Uh, well, you know, uh, like I said, I think I think we're good. I think we got our furnaces. We'll, uh, we'll extend this iron line next time. And uh, then we will decide on, uh, I don't know, fucking Biter Deathmatch or something. Oh, there. Those fuckers expanded there, I swear. We're gonna have to destroy them right now, actually. We actually make more turrets. That's actually one of the things I was gonna do. Oh, apparently there are no, are no more Biters there. I think it scanned here briefly or something, or maybe I walked past it and they, uh, maybe they walked past me. That's what happened. So as you can see, our pollution is just basically hitting all of them. So no matter what, we have to deal with them now. So, but yeah, we'll we'll do probably I'll reinforce all these. I said fifty is a good number for these things. And now you can see I'm already like because I just put some more ammo in these. Now we're running out of ammo again. Also, this doesn't perfectly line up to what you would think it would, but whatever. So we can actually go just plug in the uh, the iron again. Luckily, as I said, the iron kind of works in such a way where nothing is wasted in this game. It just kind of does what it needs to. Now we can also get more in here. See, we get more shit now. And now for some reason we have like tons of uh, iron all over the place, but whatever. Alright, this doesn't work out particularly well, but... Because I forgot that I put this here, but that's okay. It, it still gets all the coal, it still gets all the coal, and that's, that's ultimately what matters in the end. I'm just trying to debate if there's anything else we want to do for now. I mean, electronics is going. Kind of get one of these things going, alright. Well, I sincerely hope you are enjoying our, my run so far. Even though it's a bit of a shit show with uh, Death World, but yeah. Anyways, thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.